What's up guys? Finally back on the trike build. Before I was even done with that last video, I um, looked online to try to find the best spring I could because what I had was, was way too stiff. <laughs> that doesn't ever happen to me. But um, I found a company, I ordered it. Then uh, wife and I went on vacation. I figured I'd come home, it'll be there and I can get right back on this thing. Nothing. Tried calling a bunch of times, emails, everything. It moved in their queue from uh, shipping to shipped, but still never got it. Found another company that had one. I had it within two days. This one I ordered from Trailer Park Superstore. So thank you to them for getting this thing out so quick. And I can finally get back on this thing because one, it's, it's a pain in the butt in the basement that I have to like dance around this thing, which is ugly. Um, and two, I, it's nice out. I really want to try to get this thing together. So take it out, ride it, play with it. Um, another thing, guys. Um, had a bunch of people recently subscribe. I just want to say thank you very much. It is uh, greatly appreciated. Adds a little bit of confidence to this because believe me, me being in front of the camera, this is way out of my comfort zone. So to the people that did uh, you know, subscribe and like the videos, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, one favor, I'm trying to come up with a name for this project. So um, if any of you guys have any ideas, you know, just pop it down in the comments. You know, I didn't, I can't think of anything myself, actually. You know, usually I come up with a couple ideas, maybe I'd ask you guys to pick what's best, but I really have nothing. So if you guys come up with a good name, and you know what, also, if you want to guys want to give some uh, constructive criticism, you know, not like, hey, you know, you're fat and poor, you know, I know, I got it, duly noted, but, uh, you know, maybe what can make the videos a little better, what I don't do so great, you know, that would help too, because you know I want to make this thing grow. But uh, let's open this up. Let's see how the spring looks. I watched somebody else's video that had built a, um, you know, like a girder style front end, and the spring rate on the one that he built was um, like 500 pounds, which is what I ordered for the first one. And I still thought that might have been a little too much. I don't know. It worked it on his, so maybe I made a mistake with this. But this is the smallest one I found. It's called a um, a trailer. I believe it's called a slider spring. Um, this one was 250 pounds, so I think this might be a little bit better. Let's see. I mean, it looks perfect. The only thing with these slider springs, which it looked like had the lowest weight, which is why I went with one of these, it only has like the eyelet on one side. So on this side, I'm gonna have to make some kind of mount or maybe take an eyelet off the other one that I have I mean, that, I think that'll be the, the easiest part. I mean, still, you know, I mean, it's still like <laughs> kind of stiff, but uh, oh no, this moves. The other one, forget about it. So what's gonna be next on the agenda is um, making a mount so this will actually fit onto the, onto the bike. So what I'll do is I'll take you over there with the camera, kind of show you what I'm looking to do, and then we'll we'll figure it out together. All right, guys, so here we are. Everything is still pretty much where we were at. So I need to make a mount to, let me see if I can get this, kind of hold this, you know. Let me put this thing in a stand and uh, kind of explain what I'm thinking, and then we'll see. All right, guys. So like, this has to sit somewhere in here. Wow. Hmm. I need to make a mount to go to here and then bring it out there. Kind of sorta. Of. What I need to do is put these back in and uh, kind of see you know how far out it is, and then I can go from there. But basically, this has to sit under here, and then uh, you know come out as far as it needs to go here so somehow I need to make a mount to mount from here to here this I put a magnet on it so I'm thinking I can weld to it um, to make the bracket another way I was thinking of doing is uh, drilling here and here and kind of just make a bottom plate to um, kind of smash it's kind of like sandwich it together the only thing I'm nervous about is if this like I said, this can be welded to, but I don't know if this is like a, just a cast material. So I don't know if that's gonna really weaken it up, but we'll bring it over to the table and we'll kind of uh, 
we'll look at it together, come up with some ideas, see what we got. Either way, we're gonna get it. It's gonna get attached to here. I almost wish this bend was a little different or I don't know if I cut it here and make the mount, you know, back here further where, where it's actually flat. Maybe I could do it back here. I don't know if that affects the spring rate because it's shorter, if that would increase it. But maybe if I can get it like right here, cut it here and cut it, this little end off and get it right here where it's flat. That would be mint for like that. So let's take this over to the table and uh, we'll go from there. We'll find the best solution. Okay, this is what I'm thinking here. This is the bottom of the triple trees. So what I'm, what I'm thinking is to just kind of make an outline from here around here, make it straight, straight. Um, then I can, I think I might try drilling a hole here and here. And then to, that'd be like the main mouthy point to kind of hold it in, in, in place. And then possibly, I'm not sure on the, on the original bike what these two threaded holes are for, I gotta look that up. But maybe somehow do something to then, you know, so say this is here and this is on top. Maybe use that to somehow kind of locate it, keep it straight. We'll see. I think the, the first thing I need to do is make a piece you know, that'll go, you know, around here perfectly. What I'll do is I think I'm gonna use the ice and 3 16th still left over. I'll make it out of 3 16th. I'll use the, uh, the plasma cutter. Now that should make it go pretty quick. It's gonna take, it will take me more time to set the plasma cutter up actually than it is to actually use it. So I'll do that. I think that would be the best way. Uh, drill two holes here, do the plate, just nut and bolt. I almost wish I wonder if I can drill a small hole here and weld in like a little, um, almost like the end of a bolt. And just, just something to kind of, uh, you know, kind of locate this and keep it from more into the side to side. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me make this first. I'll go fire up the plasma cutter, bring you guys outside. Guys, so now we're just gonna drill the uh, center hole with a little alignment pin, we're gonna call it. This is the size we're gonna go with. Figure it's gotta go through these two. I'd rather have it a little bit longer and I gotta cut it down than weld this thing in here. I'm screwed because it won't make it through. So. All right, guys, this is what we're working with here. We got it in here, leveled up. Uh, I took the end of the bolt. I couldn't get it too deep with that bit. The bit was shot. So that's as, as much as I got. 
So what I did was kind of uh, shorten this up a little bit. So I'm getting the focus, rounded it out. So I'm gonna get it in here nice and level and just kind of, you know, buzz this all the way around. This way, once the spring comes on, I'll have a little hole in it, then the, then the plate will sit on top and it should be good. So let me buzz this up and uh, I'll bring it back once it's done. I'm not gonna video that because I use my phone to video and it's, uh, it's my main phone. I bought it basically just for this, otherwise I don't care if I have an old phone, but I bought it so I can do my YouTube stuff. And I had a protector on the uh, camera screen and I got a little close when I was welding uh, for one of my other videos and it like totally steamed it up. And I'm like, if I break this camera before it's paid for, I'm gonna be pissed. So I'll buzz this in real quick and then I'll, uh, I'll bring you guys back and show you how it looks. All right, guys, so I'm not sure if I got a picture of this, but uh, I got the, um, the stud welded in here. That's actually pretty good. I was happy with that. Um, but of course, you know, the, uh, the hole I put in here, of course, it's not dead center. Um, I think my new technique, I'm going to try to do things crooked, and then maybe they're going to end up perfectly where they should be because trying perfectly doesn't really work for me. So I'm going to try to drill this out a little bit. Um, I even tried with the plasma cutter. It worked good here, but I couldn't really get it. I think I might need to uh, change the consumables. And typically, I'm not a big fan of a sloppy hole, but um, I think that's going to be the ticket here so I can kind of move it where I need to get it straight in the triple tree, and then I can just, you know, lock it down and put a fender washer on there and just kind of send it. So this drill bit is not the best either. It was a DeWalt bit. It wasn't like uh, Harbor Freight. And, it's, you know, everybody talks about Harbor Freight tools. I like my Harbor Freight stuff. I don't, like, I don't, like, abuse it. I don't, like, you know, I'm not, like, tossing my stuff around, trying to break it. But, um, but I'll say bits. I would, bits are no bueno from there. But, uh, but the tools I've had from there, you know, knock on sheetrock, they, uh, they've held up just... Like I said, you know, I'm not like a professional mechanic or anything, so maybe I don't, I don't use things as much as other people do, but so far, the stuff hasn't really, you know, let me down or broke on me. So let's see. This bit is kind of shot, too, and this spring steel is like no joke, so I'll see if I can get through it. All right, let's see how off this is. <laughs> Huh. I do need to sand this well down a little bit, but uh, yeah, no, it's actually pretty good. I'm surprised. Whenever I do something that comes out okay, I'm surprised. Let's see. Now I've got to clamp this up, and then uh, I'm going to drill those two holes, and I'm hoping they come out pretty even because you'll see them from the top, and I don't want it to look like dog shit, but we'll see. What's up guys so i jumped around a little bit with the video um i was out of commission for like a week i had the flu um but now you know i'm back on this um i actually mounted that bracket that i just made and um a little bit further here so pretend you don't see everything because there's gonna be another video coming out um hopefully within i don't know four or five days so let me show you the bracket that we made and uh we'll go from there so we're a little bit further here um Here's the bracket we made. Let me see if I can get under here. 
It's not super tight right now. It's kind of got it in place, but seems to be doing the part. Uh, so right now, I'm pretty happy with the way this came out. Let me see. It, uh, I think it looks pretty good for, you know, my skill level. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching. Please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Yippee, that's up.